guys. Seven here, not Jean this time. Jean, my mom, is inside making dinner, so thought I'd go out and forage some shrimp mushrooms and show you guys what they look like, what they smell like. I can't really explain that, but they smell good. And I've been eating them for the past few days, but now that we've got a lot out here, I want to show y'all how to harvest them and key differences, I guess, between them and other ones that could look like them or ones that didn't abort, if I can find one. So I am taking my mom's mushroom knife. I'm eventually going to get one. And then her favorite basket that I got her that we both use. We share it. Okay. So here we go. They always show up around this time of year around our stump. Here's some babies. Little white thingies. I'll get a closer look in a second. This is our stump. And we have a whole garden of them right now that show up every single year. Look, there's some here now. They haven't been down here yet. This is a whole new spot. All right, so here is a shrimp mushroom. It's about the size of my thumb, a little bigger. They can get really big. I've gotten some three times the size of this one. And what I do is I don't take the whole thing up. I cut the stem. And I grab it, investigate. And if it has some bites in it, that's fine. It's just from a slug or something. It's not going to hurt you. The only thing you need to look for is if it isn't aborted. It'll look like a normal mushroom is it, if it isn't aborted. This is a shrimp mushroom. They're amazing. Quite rubbery, and they smell amazing. They smell good. And I cook them with a lot of things. Let's go get some more. I got my phone stand. No, I don't need to hold it. Look, there's a slug right there. He was eating it. Sorry, dude. There'll be some more tomorrow. See, these are a decent size. Pretty cool. And they always start at the top of this hill. And they're just now starting to travel down here. One right there. There's a good one. size and um, that one that's a good size too it's kind of dirty though we're not a big fan of dirt hopefully no one is Those are small, so I'm gonna leave them. Let's go up the hill and get some more. Oh, they're everywhere! Look at all of them. See all the white dots? There's a good one. There's a few good ones. Oh no! I think I just stepped on one. Some hiding right here. Oh, these are gonna be good. Let's zoom out. I can just. Watch me grab a bunch after I grab this one. That's a good size one. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. I don't want to step on any. Ooh, there's some in the bush. 
I'm gonna stop recording for a second. The snail is doing that shit. Look at him! That is so cute. Oh my gosh. What's up, dude? Look at all of them. Oh my gosh. Guys. There's so many. They're still tiny, but still. Look. Oh, they're just everywhere. I think I might see an unaborted one. Maybe. This might be a non-aborted. Not sure. I don't think it is. I think they usually turn out white. Okay. So we have this stump out here that is covered in shrimp, aborted antiloma. Mom told me to remind you guys that's what they're actually called. And honeys. I'm pretty sure they're honeys. I'm going to grab some to show my mom. But let me show you guys this. Okay. So they're kind of everywhere. They're down here. They're all around the edges, and I'm pretty sure those are honeys, because we've got some back here too, and these look a lot like honeys. We'll have to ask mom when we go inside. Let's like, look at all of them. That's crazy. Well, anyways, here's the harvest in our little basket of shrimp. I didn't get a lot because I got all the big ones the other day and now we only have tiny ones. But um, yeah, okay. Mom's back there on the grill. Mom! What? Say hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, there you go, bye. What you doing, Seven? Cleaning the shrimp mushrooms. Wow, oh, I love them. Ooh! Right here. Nice. Mm hmm. Oh, I can't wait to eat them. Yum, yum. They'll be really good. Mm. I know, Piper. They're going to be amazing, aren't they? What else do we have over here? Even Piper knows they're going to be good. We've got some Bolitas. Where's the olive oil? And we have some cauliflower that I tore to pieces. Just a little bit. And Seven is about to cook them up. Fancy olive oil. <laughs> so, what'd you do? Put a little bit of olive oil in olive the pan? Olive oil and garlic salt. Garlic, garlic salt, salt is the best. I use it for everything. Oh, there it is. Yep. And what else are you going to put in there? Um, the other pan, I'm going to put bolitas in there, and then after the bolitas, I'm going to do the shrimp. But I'm going to cook them separate. I cook all my mushrooms separate. Yeah, bolitas are kind of mild, so shrimp has a pretty strong flavor. Mm -hmm. And I'm also... So do the mild first. I'm going to grab some basil Mom got from outside. Ooh, some fresh basil. Put Tear the leaves up. Tear the leaves in half. Tear them in half? Yeah, so you get more flavor. You like that paper? It smells good, doesn't it? Oh, and look. Piper's helping. She is helping. <laughs> She's very helpful. Can I smell it? Oh, she might eat it. Oh, Piper likes, likes popcorn, by the way. What? Mom, don't popcorn, get her into though. cheese like we did with Kim. She, no, it was just salt. Salty popcorn. Oh, my hands smell good. Oh, she likes my hands. She smells the basil. <laughs> She's just hanging out. All right. Next. What we got now? Bolitas. Bolitas. Um, I put garlic salt in there. Seven's cooking some painted bolitas. Very fancy. Notice the. Let's see if you can see it. Oh, no. See that? That's what a painted bolit looks like. And the pores from the pores. Well, bow, bow leads are always spongy on the bottom mm -hmm. and yellowy. And not all of them are good. These are actually good. Yeah. 
not all. Well, there are no toxic bolete mushrooms, but there Still. are some that'll make you sick. Mm -hmm. So I always try to stick with the ones that I know are good. So now we have cauliflower mushroom in painted bolete. And then we're going to throw some shrimp in there. Toss them in there, babe. It's not going to hurt anything. You think it's okay? Go ahead. Mm. Put them all together. You might as well. Yum, yum. Mm -hmm. So we have shrimp of the woods, which is an aborted enteloma. It's an enteloma mushroom that aborts before it comes out of the ground. So it looks like a shrimp. That's why they call it shrimp of the woods. And they're very good, as a matter of fact. And here's the co-chef, Piper. <laughs> yeah, the co-chef. She's helping. She's definitely helping. She's a great help. Mm -hmm. She lets us know what doesn't smell good or taste <laughs> good. And she smells this. <laughs> Ooh, let's see if she likes it. Oh! Oh, oh I don't think, think she likes like that one. <laughs> <laughs> I think it tickled her nose. All right. We'll be back in a minute.